Don't worry if you feel ashamed, it's been around for years. Thousands more than can be named are interested in real. Think about this. If life was designed, functional complexity of the cell is amazing. The eye is amazing. Look at it. Like if you saw a watch on the floor, on the how did it get there? It had to be have a designer. Because your premise is that functional complexity cannot spontaneously all by itself come into existence. It had to be designed by, you know, a, a watch is probably designed by a company and it has a history of trial and error and, and, and multiple designers, mo many of whom are dead, let's say. But in any event, you say, how did that get there? It had to be designed by something even more complex, more fascinating. Anything that is complex enough to define like a watch or a human being or an eyeball has to be at least as complex or more complex than it. If it is true, think about this. This is very important in my migration away from faith. If it is true that functional complexity requires a designer, then the mind of a god also requires a designer. Isn't the mind of a god beautiful? Doesn't it function? Isn't it complex? Doesn't he have desires? Doesn't he have plans? Isn't he this amazing big... Is he just a big blob of random nothingness? Or is he an amazingly organized genius of a beautiful, wise being up there? That complexity, by the argument of design, also would require a designer. If it doesn't, then throw away your argument. You're just believing by faith. The design argument either stands or it doesn't. So you can't invoke a designer to explain complexity who's more complex than the thing that it designed. That's circular reasoning. That's called begging the question. What you're doing is you're just explaining one mystery with another mystery. Sodomy. They must think it very odd of me that I enjoy the act of sodomy.